Kalle Lundahl, hjärtligt välkommen till Alexander Teknik 39. 39. 39, I should speak English. Uh, we will today continue the spiral movement up and above. And we take great use of uh, The Matter with Things by Ian McKilchrist. There you can read about flow and spirality. Everything in the universe is based on the spiral or the wave. And there is nothing foundational like matter or atoms. Those are simply projections either for a special attitude or culturally devised things or historical things. We will do a continuation when we did 38. See if we can see if Kalle perceived the spirals as good as he did last time. I'm quite sure of it. So remember the ladybug on the ridge of your nose <laughs> and a tremendous smile at the back of your eyes. Think we are approaching the 2000. There is a new year and it brings hope about spirals becoming a common feature among everyone. If you want to, Kelly, you can go into the monkey. Are you spirals so good? Do the monkey yourself. What do you say? Yes. Go up, take in the space behind you. Bring it in. Encourage that upward nice movement. And I can see you find the joint in your hip gallantly. Yes, it's much lower than you think. We usually perceive the hip to be, I'd say, at least 10 centimeters above where it actually is. Ah, that's fantastic, Kalle. Very good. As you can see here, the back is bent as one thing. So there, there's, no, there's no bent here. Here it's bent where the hip joint is. And for each time you practice this, the better and smoother it will be. So iteration or repetition is a fantastic thing when it comes to these. Do be free to repeat, do it again and again. You get better and better. It says, Pedro Alicantara says, it's a skill for life. There's always a little room for developing and how do we use that skill well we can use it in our work we can use it in our hobbies our sport great sportsmen always take use of the spiral and the upward movement and also when you go down for instance when you want to reach for something down beyond, down below, you actually spiral up. The only movement of the back is extension, prolonging. And that prolonging helps all the movements of the hand, the feet, the legs. When you're running, you will also upward, not downward, even if it gets very tiresome and oof, I'm out of energy, there is nothing left. If you go upward, you will be like the better ones in the marathon, for instance, usually people from I think Northern Africa usually came. And uh, they have this very nice upward movement all through their running. That's a very low monkey, you can also do the accordion and go up a bit, yeah. 
Maybe that's more comfortable for you. Mm. And let's see here, I prepare myself as well. Uh, <laughs> we should make sure I'm not in front of the camera. <laughs> Just that. Let's see here. Yeah, very nice. And you have a nice balance there. Ooh, very good. You can widen here in between the shoulders if that makes any sense. Mm. Yeah, you do understand. And a good training moment is also for the hand to be spiraling out like this. Yeah, you do it. Very good. It's there, Kalle. <laughs> so the spiral in front of you, maybe elongating the fingers a bit, like two, three centimeters, like that. Yeah, exactly. So the hand is actually a good model for what the head is on top of the spine. So we can think of it like this. So the lengthening is this and the less is down and back. So forward and up and you stretch out the fingers, you elongate them. This is very nice movement. Mm. You're more than welcome to look around if you want to for something interesting. That's a very nice balance. And there you have that smile also. Broad, thinking of the beach or summer. Some people here in Sweden say the summer is coming along already. You can have your hands uh, on the, whatever that's called in English. The side of the back of the chair, maybe. So many expressions in English. Mm, looking good. <laughs> Fantastic. Let's see here. Yeah, you spiral out. You feel that even if you go back, mm. you're forward. Mm. And you, you don't have to fixate your head. You can, if you want to, you can look over here. Maybe it's something interesting over here. But when you go down, you can have the head in this direction. And mm. So it follows the back. You do, for instance, the Surya Namaskar. Go down, 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 down. Bend at the hip and you go up. Like the accordion. It's very nice. It's a flow to it. Mm. And you feel nicely uh, fit. You feel really fit. This is, oh, it's just incredible when it works. And it's working better now, isn't it? Mm. So you can take your out, you can just let, let your hands like the accordion, bringing it out. Very good, yes, 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 there we go. <laughs> and you are now coming up to your full length. Very good, you can nod, you can say no to habits. Feel how easy and relaxed you are now. Mm. This is a very nice balance to have all during the day and for each for each time you train that the more you will gain of this mm. and the uh, it's like James Clare the one percent rule you won't feel the differences from one day to another but maybe one day you will feel that oh it's a great change mm. and he called that the accumulation of days weeks and years Mm. So here, something will be obvious, but it's happening every day. The spiral movement never yields. Mm. For each time you put your thinking to it, it will have some work. So, 
enough of me babbling here. Go ahead. Now you, when you are in this excellent starting pose. Do people see me in the camera? It's not their fault. Mm, thanks for reminding me, guys. Oh, very good. Perfect. Surya Namaskara. Surya. Uh, excuse me, Moon. No, no, no. Excuse me, Moon. No, no, don't worry about that. Can uh, do the accordion a bit and come up a little bit. That's you know the drill now, so you can stop here. Yeah, very good. Nice and balanced. And you also think uh, of the back as yet another spiral. So spiral down and up at the same time. A direction go out this way like that so yeah very good uh, yeah there you found it you spiraling nice now you can also maybe spiral a bit more yeah 
That's it. That's perfect. Now you are integrated and you're doing the business as one whole thing. You do feel the big difference. Yes. <laughs> this is also very illustrative of what the spin is. Pete Sampras doing his tennis. So once more you can make a stop there. Do prolong your back even more. Remember the ladybug. Yeah, 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 you got it there. Very good, very good. Can you feel that extra ease? Yes. This is what you should look for, that harmonious ease. Do let all positive thoughts and thinking stream for your mind. It's this negative thinking as well that are the vortices or what can you say? The disturbances. A harmonious thinking is a spiral thinking. Not focused on either or, but taking in both. I'd say that's the divine way. Looking very good, Kalle. Well done. <laughs> I'm so happy with this. There's no tension here. I can see it from away. And still the fingers are stretched in a very nice way. And you think, up, ah, you're a whole spiral now. Look here at the spiral. You can look here. Mm. You're spiraling up now. Disentangled. So go up like the spiral. Very good. Amazing. And you also get more of the, that shoulder movement into the whole thing. So the beginning of the arm is actually the shoulder and often we cut them off we disjoint ourselves. Very <laughs> good. <laughs> We're keeping the mood up. Look how the climate is here. <laughs> it's not all bad. To still be moist this season. Yeah, it's still moist here. Yeah. We're now looking forward to the snow that will come soon. 
see. Last days of the year 2023. Yes, only three days left now, 29th today, I think. Yes. Tomorrow the 30th and the day after tomorrow, 31st. We are approaching the end of the year 2024. Coincidence, we're coming to the last episode of the 20- 2000s episode of the series. Wow, yeah, it's good. You already found the joint. So you see, the more you train it, the better you find it. So there's no right and wrong. It's getting your whole entire system into better alignment. Mm. So you're not a machine. A machine it would be, you can make this perfect. Mm -hmm. But since you're not a machine, since we are human beings and we are quantum mechanical, mm. it's the totality that counts, mm. all of you. And that only has much more close to the James Clear idea of the progression. So you're not, you're not made of parts that we can <laughs> somehow put together. Let's see here, I can I get you in there, yeah. You're doing very nice winding here, very relaxed here. So we get much less tension here. The system already knows it, so even before we started the video, he was spiraling up, Kalle. And you thought, I didn't think anything. Well, you did. Your whole system did think it. It becomes your second nature in the end. You will be as natural as everything. There we go. You can go up, you can go down, the accordion. And now I think the system realizes how deep down the hip joint really is. It's much deeper than you think. So when you bend, you bend there. Yeah. Maybe you should go up a bit with the knees. Yeah, that's that's and bend just in the hip, only the hip. Yeah, that's it. That perfect, fantastic. How does that feel? It's good. Mm. So I could do also this one, the greeting. Yeah, yeah. It, it's a variety of the monkey. Yeah, definitely. So I should. Let me get you into the camera as well. I should stop working in front of the camera actually. Yeah. And now you do another very good thing, the squat. That's a good idea. Remain there for a sec, if you can. Yes. The squat is also good training. Squatting, if you can sit like Kelly here, you will sit like uh, billions of people all over the world. You can find them in China, India, Southeast Asia. The squat is a powerful way of sitting. Once you make your ligaments in your heels long enough, so you can like stand. Oh, yeah, very good. Excellent. So you sit in a very composed way. And all the darned problems, <laughs> excuse my English, uh, will be gone in the squat. It would be a different world if children would learn to squat and sit on the floor instead of those chairs. Because in a chair you, you run greater risk of uh, collapsing. There's a very nice expanse you have here. And you can let your head be in the like an extension of the back. So this that and you go up yes like that yeah very good and 
Well, it's just, yeah, you know the spiral. It's there. And you have no idea how easy it is now. And the difference is just amazing. Take my arm. I'll show you how much it was before. It was like this. Yeah. I almost had to strain myself. Now it's moving freely. So that spiral, even if you were to make a chop like this, if you're a karate guy, thinking spirally out would do the chop much stronger. Mm -hmm. The reason I think about karate is I saw this uh, sitcom yesterday about, I don't, uh, did you see Karate Kid? Yes. Uh, the, the now made sitcom starring Karate Kid, the guy who was Karate Kid, and his opponent, uh, the blonde guy, uh, I don't remember his name, but there are the actual actors, and they play against each other in this sitcom called uh, Cobra Kai. <laughs> it's very amusing. <laughs> and Cobra Kai was, of course, that uh, rather horrible film that taught children to attack others. Very good color. This is spiraling up. This is extending and acquiring greater width and uh, the coincidence of position as Ian McKilke is for that. The coincidence of positions. <laughs> very good color. Thank you very much for your help. You're doing an excellent job.